now in a historic move, Bank of America and four other lend mortgage lenders have stopped the foreclosure process. This is in response to what's being called robo-signers, you know, managers who didn't use due diligence with the foreclosure paperwork. They were just signing, not really studying it. But what happens next, especially if you are in the foreclosure process? Attorney and managing editor of Consumer Warning Network, Terry Smil Yannick is here and we say good morning and thank you for coming in. Good morning. Okay, this is can be complicated. Uh, can you simplify why they stopped the process? Simply because there were so many mortgages that they were getting out the door four or five years ago. They didn't care about the documentation back then and now when they want to take your property, they're having difficulty proving that they have the right to do so. And if your property is being taken, I think you should be able to insist on the fact that you're the right lender that has the right to take my property. The documents are not in place. Quite often the promissory notes can't be found. Uh, and this is important for the homeowner, but having to stop all these foreclosures is not good for the market itself uh -huh. because it, it keep, keeps the uncertainty in the market. But foreclosures themselves hurt the market. And what needs to happen is banks need to do a better job of proving that they've got the documents in place to prove that they're the right lender to take your property, that you're the, they're the one you owe the money to. Because if they're wrong, and if, if the courts just simply sign off and uh -huh. let them take your property, and somebody shows up six months later and says, I've got your promissory uh -huh. note, you owe me the money, oh, you boy. still owe them the money okay. even though your house has been foreclosed. Is that because w the mortgage lender, the initial lender, then sold the mortgage to somebody? Absolutely. By the time the borrower left the closing, his or her mortgage had been sold and Already. resold four or five times, put off into a mortgage-backed security somewhere, and the bank was done with it. They didn't care okay. about it anymore. And now when they want to foreclose, the documents are a mess uh -huh. uh, because of that, because they were doing everything they could to encourage these mortgages back then. And they, they you know, appraisals, uh -huh. uh, income statements, they didn't care about any of that uh -huh. stuff. Now suddenly when they want to take your property, they have difficulty showing that they, all the documents oh, are wow. in place. Okay, well with that in mind then, is it up to the homeowner, or I'm sorry, the mortgage holder, like me, the, the, mm -hmm. the one who's paying the mortgage, is it up to us to know who it is that's holding that promissory note? No. It's the obligation of the lender who wants to take your property to prove that they're the right lender. And when a homeowner insists on having the promissory note shown, the original note shown, they're doing nothing more than asserting their right to say, you want to take my property, prove that you're the right person. Okay. And is that really too much to ask? Yeah especially if they are going to be kicked out of their house. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll Terry. talk to you mm -hmm. again. Terry right? Smiljanic. Yes. <laughs> yes, I got it. I knew I would eventually. Thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate Thanks the for information.